Hello everybody and welcome to another Dacman Productions video. Here you see three Lionel Legacy locomotives all lined up together. These are all powered and I'm going to show you how to lash these up using the Cab 1 remote. Um, I just want to show everybody you don't need to buy the more expensive Lionel 900 legacy controls, although you do have more features, but it is not necessary to have the Lionel legacy control. Uh, you can do the lash up with a cab one. I didn't realize this could be done, um, but the couple club members explained this to me, so I figured I'd pass it along. So, uh, why would you want to buy a dummy unit for $200, which is the average, and most of them don't even light up or smoke or do anything, so it's half the cost of a locomotive. So, for, you know, I'd rather spend the extra money and get a powered unit. It just doesn't seem worth it to me to have a dummy in it, especially when most of them don't light anyway, and at least in a line L. So that's why I like to lash up power units. Now you are going to need a pretty strong transformer to do this. I'm running a line L powerhouse 180. I do not recommend using a conventional transformer such as the line L ZW only because uh, that's made for the older stuff, uh, post-war uh, NPC era, because the ZW does not have the proper protection in it to keep your boards and the Lionel from frying. So that's why I go with the powerhouse. Also, I have a inline uh, quick blow fuse, so if the powerhouse doesn't um, cut the power out, the quick blow fuse will. These are all set to 1 as a factory default. And so what you should do when you get these, you should program them to a different number other than 1. I do not recommend using single digits. So what I did in this case, I used the last two digits of the cab number to make it easy for me. So this is locomotive number 10. This is number 33 in my cab one. And that is number 26. So you can see I'm using the last two numbers of the cab number to make it easy. Um, if you need me to shoot a video of how to program the Lionel uh, legacy locomotives uh, just put a comment in this video and uh, I can help you with that as well so here it is this is the cab one this this has the antenna on it um, this will also apply to the cab one L which is blue and it doesn't have the antenna the difference between this and a cab 1L, from what I'm being told, it uh, the cab 1L ha runs on a different frequency than this does. This is for the older TMCC uh, locomotives, but it will run Legacy as well. So this will work. I see a lot of clubs still using this, so I will go ahead and use this as a demonstration. All right, we'll be pretty much doing a, a dry run on this. And uh, so you can set up, I believe, as many as you want. But we're going to set up three today. And uh, I'll show you how to do that. So we want this one to be the lead locomotive. So that lead locomotive is number 26 so what you're going to do on your remote is there's going to be the letter TR button 
you're going to press that button. Then you want to assign this train a num different number yet. So for the lash up number, I'm going to make it number 8. So now I'm going to go with train number 8. That's going to be the lash up number I assigned this. It can be any number. You can assign it to train number 2. You can assign it to train number 4. I don't recommend using 5 because that's the shutdown button for a uh, line out of you see. But any other number uh, you can use as a train. Uh, I wouldn't use 1 either. So in this instance, I'm going to name my lash up number 8. So, uh, so to start over again, uh, for the front unit, it's going to be train, and then number eight, and then your cab number, which is going to be, in my case, two, six. And then I'm going to press the letter F, because that's the lead unit. And then I'm going to press set. At that point in time, the locomotive will come on, fire up, and turn the lights on. But I don't have the power on, because we're doing this as a dry run. So the train, not engine, do not use an engine. Engine is only when you're programming a single unit. You want to use TR for train. So it's going to be train, 8, 2, 6, F, set. That's about how fast you want to be. If you're too slow, it won't take and you'll have to do it over again. If you have to do any time you have to do a locomotive over again, you'll have to shut the power off to the track and turn it back on again. So that'll be the lead unit. Now the second unit is going to be different. There's going to be one last button you're going to have to hit. So, the mid unit is number 33. So, uh, that's my CAD number that I assigned it. So, in this case, we're going to still use train. I named the lash up number 8. And then it's going to be 3, 3. And then it's going to be set. And then that should fire up with the lights on. But again, the track is not powered, so it will not. Alright, so the tricky one is going to be the back locomotive. You'll see it's going the opposite way. I don't like running multiple units in the same direction. This can be done with a cab 1 or cab 1 L. It's not a problem. Pay attention to how I'm showing you how to do this, and it'll work just fine. So, we're going to use the TR button again, train. Then we're going to go with the train lash up number, which is we assigned to 8. The cab number, which we assigned this last locomotive, which was 10. 1, 0. Then you're going to press the letter R. And then the letter or the button direction. And then you're going to hit set. So let's do this one more time. The cab number is 5510. I assigned this one number 10 in my handset. And then this whole lash up I named number 8. You have to name the lash, you have to give your lash up a number. So in this case it's number 8. So. And I want this to go in the opposite direction of the other two locomotives, just like the real thing. So, we're going to go with TR button, and then you're going to put in your lash up number, which is 8, then the cab number, 1, 0. And then you're going to want to hit the letter button R. Then hit the direction button and then hit set. And then this will fire up 
light up and then be running so if you have done this right all three of those will be all lashed up and ready to roll in one direction one recommendation that I do make is never couple up the locomotives until you're sure that they're all truly lashed up and going in the same direction so I'm going to do this live now okay now we're going to do a live lash up and we're going to set the lead locomotive with the cab 1L so it'll be train 8 to 6 letter F and then set the horn blows and now you know it's ready to roll Now for the second one, that'll be train eight, three, three, set. And it blows its horn and it's ready to roll. So we got two out of three so far. The back one being the most difficult. Um, that's gonna be train eight one zero R direction set. Now that's up and running. So if I did this correctly, all three of these should now be ready to roll. And let's find out. Yes. And this is a test. Because I do not have them coupled up. And this is a good test because if something went wrong, you won't uh, burn up a, a motor or a rubber tire. If something uh, is not working correctly or you did something wrong in the last show. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. Change direction. And as you see, the trailing unit, which is this one, will now turn its lights on. As you can see, the, the, the lead unit and the mid unit do not have the headlights on, just like the real thing. Let me take the camera. I will change the direction again. As you can see, the headlight comes on. Now this is a test as to how the Lionel legacy units are all matched. None of them are coupled. Now they act as a unit, as train number eight. So when you go to shut this down, you're gonna still use button number five. So 
so I just put them off duty. That's a uh, aux five uh, on the on the cab one. Aux five puts the train and shut down. And to start them up again, you'll have to switch the power off and turn it back on. Uh, if you want to see a video of these three Lionel Legacy powered units in action, I do have one on my YouTube channel. I believe I named it the uh, Triple Conroe Qual Quality uh, in action or something like that. But uh, that is how you set up your uh, power units. Uh, just using a basic line I'll cap one. I hope this video was helpful to somebody and Showing that you don't need to have the more expensive line legacy controls to have multiple units running For me, I rather spend the extra money on powered units instead of dummy units um, Plus a lot of my cars are can be pretty heavy too All right. Thanks for joining me and uh, see you another day.